really, to summarize, what I'm seeing from Dire Wolves is we don't need to change anything, don't need to reveal anything. Um, we want to almost feel pre-solved, but what is your response into us? Uh, yeah, I mean, the only way that I think that comp is better is with the potential Akali in mid lane, because then you've got another melee champion for Sejuani passive. Absolutely. I think the fact that you've gone for first strikes <gasps> more of an indicator of kegs. Ultron on the hunt if he was to get taken has down here. found the target. Three to two, Sejuani wins this all day. This would absolutely ruin Mayfan's life. It's a flash for flash trade. It's a knock up. It's a stun. It's a passive kill. And it's a first blood for the wolf pack. By being able to just place the soldiers that can't be traded back from. <laughs> oh, Top all in. That for two seconds. We're going for a fight. Cannon Barrage on us just tries to skirt around the edge of it. And managed to leap to safety. Blue maybe regretting the fact that he didn't stand inside it. Had to try and juke at that counter. -strike. Fighting has been immaculate. But he's also controlling those lanes. Mayfan gonna walk in here, gonna find himself Chaz, which confirms the Herald's being done. Do the Direwolves commit to this one? If yes, they can go on a fight? Well, they turn around and say, you are gonna fight. Stunned, flipped back, and slam dunked down. No smite still today, no 50-50 flip. That is an e Get Luden's teleport towards mid, try and contest this one, if they were gonna fight this, but he may even need to teleport bottom right now, depending on how they play this out. Yeah, look at that. The Weaver's Wall blocks it off. TP comes out. Nami Wave knocks them up. Poop it down. Shinky dead. And a dive successful. But in comes Fido. He scoops them back. And they'll find a second. One goes the way of Zir to second. Game started. They've managed to equalize pretty nicely. And they capitalized on the overforce from Direwolves in bot lane. Generate a lot of money into some much needed hands. Blue here, though. Big trouble. Losing trouble, great flash away. Needs to eat some oranges to be okay, but ultimately just cops a little bit too much damage to the face. But Hextech Soul gets them closer to the pit, but can they get through Chaz? Well, how do you even get through Chaz, let alone Zoranis? Both angles, both entries are denied. Mayfun gonna jump across the wall, instantly cops an ult to the face. You cannot fight, you cannot steal. Shinky, a passenger, wishes he could attach himself to somebody else, but that is denied as well. And the Cannon Barrage comes down for good measure, but it does absolutely nothing because Direwolves, as a five-man, take the Baron. The yeah, Shinky kind of holds the collected. Kanga don't really have an answer yet. Their answer is scaling is made fun. Goes on Chaz. Waves synced up. Two fights on two separate occasions. They look for Chaz, they can't find it, and Blue unfortunately falls on down. If it does at all, yeah, it's sure. Not just making ADs even more powerful, but Chaz going mid. They are certainly very dead. powerful. Mayfun gets knocked to the side and then dragged right back, flipped into the waiting arms of Chaz, who's now five one and two. Another flip of the rick, and Poltron now in trouble. Actually, going to fall on down. It doesn't matter though, because between Zonis and Predator, they are wiping the floor of the opposition and getting it done. As the rest of his team fall around, then Blue respawns, and he's got a mammoth task to defend one v four. Ten thousand gold. They're game to lose at this point, and they're not going to let that happen. As the wave comes out, the knock-up is there, the bubble, the damage, the CC, it is incurable. Cleanse that. You just can't because Poltron is on a rampage. Two kills to his name. There gets himself a cheeky double. Now they threaten straight into the base. In terms of minions, they only have the mid wave to work with for now. The bot wave is a little bit away, but they've got a super. Fido has really good wave clear. So does Blue. <laughs> But here is some of that wave clear right now, but they're going to jump in, Exhaust dead. Blue, they needed him, but he's not there to survive, he's not there to peel. And he's not there to protect these Nexus Towers, which are uh, doing a great job so far to try and ward off the Direwolves, but they're just going to wait for this next wave to come on in. Mayfun back and alive, just put a bow on it. They do want to try and end this one here, and now Mayfun back alive. 30 seconds on the next respawn, however, Hooper is back as well. Gonna be a 4v5. Hooper no, uh, no summoners, but he does have the lightning crash. There is the scoop. The Empress divide the dash from through. Poltron goes right back into their face. They're low. Is it time for a Hooper moment? Can he keep them active? Can he keep them interested? Can he keep them in range more so than anything? I feel like at this point, Skimmy, we're just expecting them to go straight towards top lane. Praetor's Core. No, Mayfan just doesn't wearing it now. I will do it all on my own. Nothing to back him up, just a Yumi. Feels like they can get the kill. Decoy gonna fall on down. Taken out there by Blue. The blue then gets surrounded by everybody. Triple kill for Pranif, who's still alive. <laughs> I mean, the classic 0-11 banana engage combo. What do you mean, like, they have zero damage between them, but they saw themselves a, a Pranif and thought, that's the one. All in on site, now it feels like Direwolves are just going to go straight down the guts. And wrap this one up. Oh, chest is flashed, and uh, ultimately... He's going to find what he's after, but he wants to win instead. On towards the Nexus, end the game, end the condition. 
maybe there's end hoop in the process as well. GG as Dai will still.